Hello everyone and welcome to the festive season. Um, I have a very Christmassy look. I have even even my Santa Claus dress on. Um, I'm pretty sure I wore this last year in one of my Christmas videos. Um, but I found it in my wardrobe again and I was like, oh, I need. I wanted something red to match the lip for this video, but I couldn't find anything. And then I found this, so I was like, screw it. It's Christmas. Why not? Um, so yeah. This is the look. It's super glam, Christmassy, Christmas party kind of look. I know we're not going to any Christmas parties, but that's okay. We will get there. Um, sit at home and watch a Christmassy movie and wear this look. That's what I'm going to be doing tonight. Um, and probably making a hot chocolate. Yeah, fun. I love how this turned out. I love the lip. I never wear this lip like this red. I wear red, don't get me wrong. Not this particular red lipstick, though. I haven't worn it in, I'd say, three years. Um, and I just busted it out again and I'm actually in love with it. I love how the eyes turn out. They're so crispy, so glam. The wing didn't go too out of hand, like I said before in my last um, tutorial where I had a video. Um, I did a little wing and I kind of did. It's a bigger wing, but it didn't go out of hand, which I'm okay with. Um, I love it. I think it looks super fab and super glam. We're going to do it in a kind of just a get ready sort of style. Nothing too fancy. Um, just going to put makeup on for fun yeah in a Christmassy mood so if you want to see any up close pictures of this look then my instagram is linked down below you can see all my pictures there for this look they'll go up sometime after th this video goes up and i'm also opening my advent calendars on my instagram stories which you will see um on my beauty advent calendars i'm opening them there so you'll see those every day if you follow my instagram also hit subscribe down below to number one see all my fun content that i'm doing for christmas and also coming up next year as well because I've started planning all that as well and for number two because I it just helps it helps me it gives me a little boost every time and it makes me want to do this even more so yeah let's get on with the look okay guys so I have no skin products on because I'm going to be using glitter and I just feel like doing my eyes first and we can work on the skin afterwards when I'm all nice and clean and um, this is my little color palette that I have here it's a lot of browns very neutral for me and um, but I'm gonna be doing glitter and I'm gonna be doing a red lip and it's a very classic Christmassy glittery look with a glossy red lip or a matte lip I'm not sure which I haven't decided yet Um, might not use this one but I'm definitely going to use these guys down here definitely the two shimmers and all that jazz so let's get into it I already have primer on I already have my brows on and we're just gonna go so I'm gonna first start with this color called creme brulee from Makeup Geek. These are all Makeup Geek shadows. I tried to stick with one brand just so it's a bit easier and also the tones of these are exactly what I want. So I'm going to take that on a BH Cosmetics Rose Gold number no. 5 brush, a big fluffy brush. Just picking some of that up because it's a nice warm soft brown. And the primer that I have on has a bit of warmth in it. It's the Smashbox lid primer in light because um, it's just easy to use it's not like my favorite favorite primer it's not as sticky as say my urban decay primer potion or my mac 24 hour eye base um and i like my primers a bit sticky but when i'm doing something with neutrals and browns where i'm just kind of layering them on top of each other i don't mind it um but if i was doing something like a blue eye i wouldn't get the depth because the colors wouldn't stick as much i know other people love it i just it's not, not my fave but i like it for something like this where i'm going more neutral and I'm just kind of gradually building colours up. So I'm just popping that colour on the outer corner of the eye and also through my crease just for a bit of warmth to blend. This is going to be like, for the most part, quite a classic, simple, neutral sort of eye, um, which is very different on my channel. But we're going to add glitter and we're going to do a red lip and it's going to be very Christmassy. And you'll notice I have my Christmassy dress on <laughs> just because I feel like it. Okay, so the look itself is quite simple. Um, it's this one more crease color maybe unless I decide to add anything else. And then my lid color, which I'm mixing two colors together to get that color and then the glitter. So it's simple enough. Um, so I'm gonna work on my darker color now, which is Dark Roast, also from Makeup Geek. It's a quite a neutral, like a neutral toned, very dark, dark brown. Um, it's not too red based. It's not too plummy based. It's not too kind of um golden based it's very neutral and so beautiful i'm taking that on a mac 221 brush just a smaller blending brush and this is going to be packed onto the outer corner 
heavy enough. I do want this to be deep enough. I want the eye to be dramatic enough. And then I'm going to bring whatever is left through the crease. See, for me, when I do a neutral eye, I can't just do a neutral, barely there kind of makeup. It doesn't suit me. I'm better off actually not wearing makeup. Um, or, well, in my eyes, it doesn't suit me anyway. I don't think it does. So I'm actually better off if I'm using neutral colours to do dramatic. So using my neutral shades and making it dramatic and making it deep and smoky and blown out and grungy and all those kinds of things. But just with the neutral tones. Like this little colour palette is perfect for anyone for every day. But it just depends on how you're going to use it. So I want this to be deep enough. So I'm popping that through the outer corner and into my crease. And then go back in with the brush we used with the creme brulee shade on. I'm not picking up any more for now. We might add a bit more later on. I'm just using that then to soften around the edges of that darker colour into the creme brulee shade. And you can go back and forth if you want to add more of the deeper colour. And then more of the creme brulee shade. It's up to yourself. You just want them to blend nicely. But they should because they're both brown. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with that dark rose shade. The really dark one. We're going to work on the lower lash line a little bit. We're going to take the... 214 brush just a small little study flat brush um super small super dense and great for the lower lash line and i have primer on my lower lash line as well so we're just going to work this into the outer or not the outer the lashes on the lower lash line make sure you connect out here just so you have a nice frame around your eye make it as thick as you want as thin as you want bring it in as far as you want Okay, so now I'm going to go in with creme brulee again, the lighter, warmer shade we use. And this is a Real Techniques shading brush. And I love this for blowing out the lower lash line. So I'm going to take some of that colour and we're just going to use that to soften out all the edges of that really dark brown along the lower lash line. And we may do this again. Oh, don't poke yourself in the eye. That's not good. We may do this step again once I have my concealer on just to make sure that the concealer doesn't make this too harsh you have that lovely smoky warm like hue around the outside even when the concealer is on because what happens is and I do this a lot I always kind of blend my lower lash line a little bit and then I'll go in after my concealer and do more because when I put my concealer on then after doing my or like reapplying concealer or something like that if I've just applied concealer after my lower lash line you just have this harsh line so yeah I kind of just have to go in and blend it out again just to make sure it's all nice and soft okay so we're getting there and um, we're nearly done Um, I'm gonna go in with these two colors and you might think this is insane to do this and then put glitter on top but I want to Um, it's the it's the kind of tone I want to get from this that's a background color whenever I'm putting glitters on I always try to put down some sort of a shadow underneath it whether it be matte or shimmer preferably shimmer and preferably in a similar color to what you're going to use or something that's going to the glitter will enhance a little bit because when you sometimes put glitter on because it's individual particles you might see the skin through it and then it just looks like you just stuck a load of glitter on rather than it looks like super glittery glistening eyes um so i'm going to take these two foil shadows from make peak um we've got magic Dak, which is like a champagne -y sort of one and then legend which is a bit more of a bronzy coppery kind of tone um, and I'm going to just do a dab of each one and then you'll actually see what it looks like without any glitter on. So if you're not a fan of glitter, this is an option. So I'm not going to use any glitter primer, but you can to enhance the colours. So what I'm going to do first is take Magic Act, which is the lighter of the two shimmers. And we're just going to do a quick layer of that down just as a bit of shimmer. Then I'm just going to take on my finger a little bit of Legend, which is the more bronzy shade. And I'm just going to press this over top of that. And I'm just going to smush it in. I'm not going to add any more than I have right now. Because it doesn't really matter. I just want to deepen the tone of Magic Duck. But the tone of Magic Duck is what I really want. I just want it a little bit darker. Then once we have that on, just to get a nice blend between them. Because glitter can be a bit hard to blend into matte. So I want to kind of do it now with the shimmers. I'm just going to take a little bit of dark roast again, which is the darkest brown. And just kind of smush between them here. And pop a little bit through my crease again. And then sticking with Makeup Geek, because apparently I'm doing that a lot. <laughs> I'm taking the Makeup Geek Sparkler in the shade Asteroid. Just a very, very fine gold glitter. And it's a beautiful tone, similar tones to what we're, we've been using. So we're just going to go in with some of that. They are messy, not going to lie. It's not my favourite of packaging ever, but... They're beautiful, can't help it. Um, and I'm just going to press that 
over the glitter primer. So we have a lovely bit of sparkle going on. And because I have that lid shade down, I'm not worrying too much about like getting it like overly even. Just enough to make it look sparkly all over. Okay, so we are done with all the colours on the eyes except for inner corner highlights and reblending edges and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to jump off. I'm going to do my skin very quickly, but we'll do cheeks together, so don't worry. And I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I have got my under eye concealer on and I've kind of reblended all my edges around here. So what I'm going to do now is take my brow highlight, which I don't always do, or I used to always do it every single look. I had a particular combination of colours for this, but I stopped kind of doing it and I've kind of gotten back into it. So this is Vanilla Bean from Geek. It's similar to my skin. Um, it's a little bit more warm tone than my skin. Well, actually, not really. Like, not really. It's a li little bit warmer, but it's still lighter than my skin. And I like to fill in this bit here because I don't have a lot of shadow in there, as in colour. And it can just look a bit veiny so i just like to pop a bit there mostly around there and you can soften out any edges that look a bit funny and then for my inner corner i'm gonna go back in with magic act which is that lighter of the shimmers that we used for the lid just because it has that same tone as what's on the lid but it'll kind of it's not like the lightest of lightest of colors so it will have some color on the inner corner but i don't really mind for this look so we're just gonna pop that in here has that nice golden tone that'll blend lovely into the glitter. So now I'm gonna go in with some nude on my waterline. I just kind of want that vibe. I don't want to do a black or a brown or anything like that too deep in the eye too much more than this. I'm loving how it's looking so far. So I'm gonna use my MAC Technical Liner in the shade Risqué. It's just a nude. Um, it's a twist up pencil. Any nude, something that's lighter than your skin. You can use white if you want it to be very dramatic, but I prefer a nude on me. Okay, so I'm going to jump off for another second um, to do my liquid liner and my mascara. And I'm going to pop a pair of lashes on as well off camera because it's just easier to do it like that for me. And then I will come back, we'll do a bit of skin, we'll do a bit of lip and then we'll be done. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys out just a little bit because I'm going to be working on my face a little bit more. So we want to be able to see detail a little bit easier in my techniques and all that kind of jazz. So what I'm going to do now is take my MAC Mineralized Blush in the shade Humor Me. It's a blusher, but on me, it's a nice kind of warm, contoury, bronzery kind of thing. And I'm just using, this is a giant like paddle brush. It's a MAC one I got around Christmas time, but it's really nice for doing a quick bronzy contour. And you can buy this sort of brush in most places and MAC do sell it as is, just not with a short handle. Mine's just part of the Christmas range from two years ago, I think. So I'm just taking that through my cheekbone or under my cheekbone and then through my temple and the sides of my forehead and then for the cheeks we want to stick with a nice warmth so I'm going to go with my warm soul blush from MAC also mineralize one of my all-time favorite blushes I will forever use this um definitely a nice one if you want to try a nice blush from MAC it's a good one to start with um but it's one of my all-time faves just gives a nice warmth and it's the perfect blush to wear with a red lip as well if you don't like your blush and your lip to clash too much this is lovely because it's still neutral but it just warms you up enough for the red okay and then lastly for my highlight we're going to go in with Inglot sparkling dust face eyes and body um, and this is in 07 it's a super nice champagne color it's going to go really nice with the colors we have on the eyes has a nice golden-ish kind of undertone. You only need a small little bit of this, as you can see. <laughs> it's so, so pretty. Also one of my favorite blushes, or blushes, highlighters. Okay, so for my lip, we're gonna go red, classic Christmassy red. Um, I'm gonna go in with MAC Lip Pencil in Brick, and I'm gonna use a very, very, very well-loved red lipstick. Not by me, I don't actually wear this lipstick that often, but I have it. Um, and I wanted to use it today, but it's uh, probably the, one of the most popular reds in the world. Um, but I'm going to take brick first and we're just going to line the lips nicely. I feel like I need to go to like a Christmas party or something like that. We can't because there's a pandemic on. <laughs> 
Um, I'm gonna go then in with Mac's Ruby Woo lipstick. I was gonna use Russian Red, which is actually my favorite red from Mac. This one I never really use, so I wanted to use it today. It's a little bit on the brighter side than Russian Red. Russian Red is more of a blood red, which I like with my skin tone and my hair color. Um, but this one is more of a super bright cherry red in your face kind of red. And I never use, so I was like, screw it, I'm gonna use this one. And it's a retro mask, so it's super, super matte. Um, where Russian Red is just a normal matte, which I prefer as well, but I might put a gloss on this, so we'll see. Holy moly. <laughs> You know what, I don't actually think I'm gonna do a gloss on because I think with the sparkly eyes is where all the like sparkly shininess is gonna come from and my highlight and then my lip will be nice and velvety matte. I really like it. Hmm. Alrighty guys, so this is our finished look. You can always pop a gloss on. I'm kind of happy without it though. I think I really like it and I never ever do it but I'm really loving it right now. I think I need to bust it out a little bit more. Um, I love the eyes. I love how super glam they are. Super Christmas glam. That's what we were going for for this video. Um, I hope you guys recreate it. That would be so amazing. I know we're not going anywhere, but this is such a nice look just to wear to get yourself in the festive mood. Because yes, Christmas is a bit weird this year, but what can you do? Um, For me, it feels really weird this year, but this filming these looks and decorating like this and doing all that jazz, and watching the Christmas movies, that's what's getting me in the mood for Christmas, even though it's weird. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys do recreate it. If you do, then um, my Instagram is linked down below. DM me, send me pictures, or tag me. Or if you have your own videos that you like doing and you want to recreate it, tag me in it as well. I would love to see it. I love seeing people recreate my looks once you credit me, uh, obviously. But... If you tag me on credit, that's fine. Um, and also my Instagram is linked down below. You'll see all the up close pictures of this look and all full details of everything will be there as well. And I'm currently opening my glossy box, Soap and Glory and Nick's advent calendars on my Instagram story. So go follow me down below to see those. And yeah, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know you like the video and it helps me get around to more people. It's the simplest way to help me out is to give my video a thumbs up. The other simplest way to help me out is to hit subscribe down below to see all my videos and also get me around to more people as well. Um, I have many more Christmassy things coming up this month. I have many things planned for next year as well, which I can't wait for. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. Also, to leave me a comment down below, let me know if you do recreate this look, I wanna see and send me a picture or somewhere, I don't know. Um, also, what do you think of the look? Is this the kind of Christmassy look you like or do you tend to do something different? Let me know, I wanna know down below. And yeah, I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.